in this video we'll try to understand how to find out the resultant of like parallel forces using graphical method suppose we want to find out the magnitude direction and position of the resultant of two like parallel forces 15 newton and 10 newton they are acting due south that is in the downward direction so as you can see over here we have shown these two forces of 15 newton and 10 newton which are acting due south that is in the downward direction now it is given that the distance between the forces is 2 meter now we have chosen the space diagram scale as 1 centimeter is equal to 0 0.5 meter so you can see this 2 meter is the distance between these two forces divided by this 0 0.5 so 2 divided by 0 0.5 so that will be 4 and by scale we can have the distance between these two forces as that is this 15 newton and 10 newton this distance between these two forces is 4 centimeter by our space diagram scale because our space diagram scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 0 0.5 meter now let us select the bows notations a b and c it means that in this particular case this 15 newton force is represented by this ab then this 10 newton force is represented by this bc on our vector diagram now let us first draw the vector diagram over here now we'll select the scale so vector diagram scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 2.5 newton now as we have seen earlier that this 15 newton force is represented by this ab so this 15 divided by the scale that we are having scale is 2.5 so 15 divided by 2.5 so that is 6 centimeter and therefore this vector that we have drawn that is this ab is of 6 centimeter similarly this bc is representing this 10 newton force so 10 divided by this 2.5 that is 4 centimeter so this bc length is bc length of the vector is 4 centimeter now from this starting point start point a up to this end point c this total distance is the distance of the that total distance is the distance of the resultant r now join this OA. so as you can see over here join we have selected any point o which is known as pole and we have joined this o with a similarly this o with b and this o with c now we have drawn a line parallel to this oa so this is our oa and we have drawn a line parallel to that oa in the space a similarly in the space b we have drawn a line which is parallel to this ob so this is our ob and to that we have drawn a line parallel over here in the space of b similarly we have drawn a line parallel to this oc in the space of this c so this is our line which is parallel to oc now extend this first and the last line they will intersect each other over here and this is the position of the resultant now we will find out this distance x so we can find out the magnitude of the resultant as well as location or position of the resultant from 15 newton force so r is given by as we have seen earlier this r is given by length ac so from a to c it is length ac multiplied by this vector diagram scale that is 2.5 so as we have seen earlier ab is 6 centimeter bc is 4 centimeter so 6 plus 4 that is 10 so it is 10 into 2.5 that is 25 newton similarly we can measure the distance x and this distance x when we measure it is 1.6 centimeter but our scale is 0 0.5 so 1.6 into 0 0.5 so that is 0 0.8 centimeter from 15 newton force so this distance x is 0 0.8 centimeter from this 15 newton 
force now let us draw this actually on our graph paper by using some different scales let us try to understand how to draw it on actually on our graph paper so here we have shown the 15 newton and 10 newton forces and the distance between them is 2 centimeter because the scale that we have chosen is 1 centimeter is equal to 1 meter now these are the bows notation that we are drawing so ab is representing 15 newton force this bc is representing 10 newton force the vector diagram scale that we have chosen is 1 centimeter is equal to 5 newton so our first vector will be 15 divided by this 5 that is 3 centimeter so this ab will be of 3 centimeter as you can see over here similarly this bc will be of 2 centimeter now take pole o join this oa ob and oc as you can see over here and draw a line parallel to this oa in the space of a and parallel to ob in the space of b and parallel to oc in the space of c then extend this first and the last line as we have already seen So this will the intersection will give the location of the resultant. AC and multiply it by this scale of phi newton. So AC is phi in this case phi one. So R is equal to length AC that is this particular length AC multiplied by vector diagram scale that is phi. So vector diagram scale is phi over here. So phi into phi that is 25. So in this way, we can find out the resultant of the two like parallel forces. Now let us see how to find out the resultant of these three forces, 100 Newton, 200 Newton and 400 Newton, which are acting at a distance of 2 meter and 3 meter as shown over here on the diagram. Now we are having this Bowes notation. So this AB is representing 100 Newton force. Similarly, this BC is representing 200 Newton force and CD is representing 300 Newton force. Now we have taken the vector diagram scale as 100 Newton. So we can say that this AB which is representing this 100 Newton force. So 100 divided by this 100. So that is 1 centimeter. So our AB length will be of 1 centimeter. Similarly, this 200 divided by 100 that is 2 centimeter so bc vector bc will be of 2 centimeter in the upward direction that also we have seen that also we have shown and similarly this 300 newton force is represented by this cd and so vector cd will be of 3 centimeter because our scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 100 newton so this 300 divided by 100 that is 3 centimeter so this vector will be of cd vector will be of 3 centimeter now choose any point o correct and join oa ob oc od as usual now in the space of a first we'll look at this resultant r now in the space of a we have to draw a line parallel to this oa so that we have shown over here so this is the space of a so in the space of a draw anywhere a line parallel to this oa then draw a line parallel to this ob so this is our ob ray to that we have drawn this line parallel in the space of b and touching this initial point of this similarly draw a line parallel to oc and that we have shown so oc is this particular line draw a line parallel to this oc in the space of this c similarly draw a line parallel to od so this is od to that we have drawn a line parallel to that od in the space of d now extend this initial line so this is our initial line and this is our final line or initial ray and final ray so extend this they will intersect each other at this particular point so that is our resultant r so r will pass through that particular point you can measure the distance of r from 100 newton force and then 
r is given by in magnitude it will be nothing but the starting point as we have seen it is a to d so that distance is 6 and multiply by the scale vector diagram scale that is 100 newton so 6 into 100 so that is 600 newton similarly you can measure this distance x from 100 newton force and the distance comes out to be 3.25 centimeter so in this way we can find out the magnitude direction and position of the resultant in case of the like parallel forces using the space diagram vector diagram and funicular polygon thank you very much for watching do subscribe to our channel